Hi, I'm Zach Stone, the product manager for TensorFlow on the Google Brain team. I'm here at the 2017 CMSA Big Data Conference at Harvard, and today I spoke about TensorFlow, an open source machine learning platform for everyone. Our goal for TensorFlow is for it to be fast, flexible, and production ready on all major platforms. And we've made a lot of progress towards that goal, not only on our own, but with contributions from more than 790 people in the external community, including some major features. TensorFlow is useful for everything from computer vision, image recognition, medical imaging, to speech recognition, to natural language processing. There's been a recent breakthrough in neural machine translation that you can experiment with yourself via the Google Translate service and app. And we think it's also going to drive more breakthroughs in a huge variety of domains that have been revolutionized by deep learning over the past several years. In my talk today, I focused on several recent developments in the TensorFlow ecosystem. I mentioned eager mode, something we're working on to bring a defined by run style of usage to TensorFlow while still preserving all the benefits of having a full computational graph that can be compiled to multiple platforms. I also spoke about cloud TPUs or tensor processing units. Our recent announcement at Google I.O. that we're bringing our custom ASICs for machine learning to uh, the Google Compute Engine in a way that you can have up to 180 teraflops per cloud TPU. And then over time, we're gonna also bring these TPU pods that let you scale up even further to Google Cloud. And finally, I mentioned the TensorFlow Research Cloud, or TFRC, which is a set of 1,000 cloud TPUs that we've set aside to support open machine learning research. So top machine learning researchers through an application process will be able to use time on the TensorFlow Research Cloud for free as long as they're willing to share their results with the world through publications, through open source software, or other channels. We think this will continue to accelerate the pace of product and research breakthroughs in machine learning, and can't wait to see what people come up with.